Well, I haven't taken the time to do one of these in a while, but I thought I would unbox a new set of bagpipes. So I am very delighted to have a set of Robert Felsberg or Quiet Piper small pipes here. Um, Robert made these for me as a gift to support the podcast and my music playing endeavors. I'm incredibly grateful. It's also one of the more complicated bagpipes I've ever owned. So uh, I generally like to do like a, here's me playing it out of the box, but this is a four drone set. Uh, here's the absurdly large opening device here. Um, it's a four drone set and yeah, <laughs> I'm not a hundred percent sure. I know that he makes his drones to like be interchangeable to accomplish different keys. So it's going to take a second to figure out quite all the details of that. So anyway, we got our Vince Evans Dirk here to open the pipes for good luck, I suppose. This has become a tradition of using an absurd object uh, and a beautiful piece of art to open another absurd object and beautiful piece of art. Absurdly beautiful, I mean, right? Go. Oh, there's the chanter. Oh, it's so light. <laughs> it's so light. So these are made out of mesquite. Um, man. All right. Where did I work? Show you the chanter and then probably switch off here. Oh, looks like there might be a map in there. That's good. Ooh. Kind of cool. I was, uh, anxious for these to arrive. Uh, I copied the tracking number down wrong, so for the last couple days it's been reading as like, wait for later, there'll be an update. And uh, finally I figured out that I had tracked, I had copied it out wrong, looked at it and it said it was arriving today as opposed to tomorrow, which is what I thought. And that was sort of a challenge. Oh my god. Oh, it's so much smaller than I expected. It's amazing. Um, got such a delicate, delicate touch. Um, anyway, so the, um, ooh, uh, um, so it was arriving today and so I got anxious and started writing a tune and like started playing around on the harp and then the pipe showed up as I was doing that. So it feels like, uh, it's good fortune. Anyway, I'll unwrap the rest of this and let you see how they sound. All right, I thought I'd come back for the main stock. I've got the other bits out, and now we're just unwrapping the main stock. Whoa. Man. Look at that. I love a lot of things about Robert's style, but I think this is my favorite. The, like, just wood-to-wood -wood joining that he does uh, without a... I just, I don't know. I just don't care for the fuel or whatever, the, the cap around it. I love it so much more when it's just we're straight wood to wood. Um, all right. Baritone bass. That's very convenient. Uh, anyway, let's get the tape off this. Look at them beauties. Oh. Okay. There they are. Yeah, let's try them out. Okay, so this is literally the very first blast of air. Like I said, I've never played a four drone set, so um, it's gonna take me a second to like quite figure out where everything should be and what it should be.
So that's the first blast of air out of them. Uh, love the chanter sound. I'm gonna take some getting used to it, figure out quite where to get these drones started. All right, got them. It's been, I think I turned, it was like five minutes of futzing, taping and untaping. This is here. <laughs> Absolutely lovely. Um, we've got such a warm, warm tone. I'm gonna silence this E drone a little bit. Make a cork for that and see what else comes out of the fingers. Although I think I'm out of time. Um, yeah, anyway, I'll end this and come back maybe if there's time. This is the Old Wagon Way from William Vickers and it uses the low F note that you can get by taping the sides. Um, in some of the earlier clips when I was figuring it out, I was tuning the drones E, A, D, A, and it kind of sounded okay to me. Um, anyway, I'm just, I'm, I'm down to just two A's right now. Uh... 